How's it going YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for T-Babe TV in the studio with a very special video for you today. Today we have the Tiny Mite all the way from Finland. I am super excited to dive into this extremely unique boutique vaporizer. But first, we need to talk about a couple things, okay? Number one, thank you so much to everyone who participated in the poster contest. We have a winner. The winner is Samurai Badass 420. So, Samurai, if you wouldn't mind reaching out to the folks over at Real T Vapes Instagram and they will send you that poster over. Congratulations, I'm super excited. Guys, what we have here is a temporary poster. This is a poster just from my house. Well, the one that we've ordered comes in because I said I would give it away this week, so we're doing it. Uh, I'm a man of my word. But anyways, enough about that. Let's get into this, the Tiny Mite. First, we're gonna go over what's in the box. In this case, the box is not a box, but two really lovely bags. Inside these two bags are all of the things you see in front of me, including the Tiny Mite itself. Baboosh. A water pipe adapter. Hello. Two extra mouthpieces, one long, one short, a spare screen, a spare O-ring, and a micro USB cable, as well as some super cool coasters that have operating instructions, all the pieces you should have, cleaning capabilities, and all sorts. Also a awesome way to stash your vape on a table. Hey people, so I made a small mistake while recording. The package itself only comes with the short glass stem, the cooling unit, a battery for your device, a micro USB cable, and those cool coasters that have the instructions on it. Everything else is just stuff they sent us. I apologize, but they do sell the rest of this stuff, so that's kind of cool. As with any device, we highly recommend charging it before your first use. Next, remove the glass stem from the device and load your herb into the chamber at the bottom. Very similar to the Ariser Solo 2. Very similar to all Ariser products. Very similar to most Ariser products. Replace the stem and then turn the device on. There are two modes you can use to turn the Tiny Mite on session mode or on-demand mode. If you'd like to have on-demand heating, press the power button three times rapidly. You will hear a kind of a hum. The light at the bottom of the device will flash to indicate that the unit is currently turning on. Then select your temperature using the dial at the bottom of the device and press and hold the button when you're ready to inhale. If you prefer session mode, press the power button three times and hold it down on your last press. Then inhale as you see fit. I personally enjoyed on-demand mode more than session mode, but hey, that's just me. Try it out, see what you like. The Tiny Mite has 10 temperature settings as indicated by the dial on the bottom of the device. The temperature ranges from 120 to 240 degrees Celsius, which is 250 to 460 degrees Fahrenheit. We recommend you go anywhere over four as temperatures one to three won't vaporize your dry herb. I will get a little bit more into it in the vapor quality section. The vapor quality of the Tiny Mite is great. It heats up in less than five seconds, which is incredibly impressive. There's a lot of variation in the temperature settings. Like I said before, I found setting four is where things really started to get good. As with any other device, as you increase from there, the flavor will drop off a little bit, but you'll produce more and more clouds. Personally, I kept it at around six. It gave me the optimal blend of flavor and vapor. Settings nine and 10 are a bit harsh, However, that water pipe adapter allowed me to rip hits at that temperature without burning my throat. You may have noticed inside the stem, there are two cylinders. These are the cooling units designed to cool your vapor down before it hits your lips, and they do a pretty decent job. The rips off this device are surprisingly potent. It definitely snuck up on me a little bit, like all vaporizers do, but even more so with the Tiny Bite. I found it not dangerous per se to hit it through a water piece, but I certainly took some really big rips that I may or may not have intended to do. I found a quick stir between bowls gave me the best results. It's kind of like the shallow bowls in the Ariser line. A stir always helps. The manufacturing quality of the Tiny Mite is solid. I really like the cooling unit. I like the glass stem, of course. And the fact that it's made of environmentally friendly parts is a solid upside as well. And that solid oak shell, nice touch. However, the Tiny Mic does rattle, does grate on my nerves a little bit. It's not a big deal, but I did find when I wasn't watching TV or had something else on in the background, the noise did annoy me. Just putting it out there. The Tiny Mic has a removable 18650 battery. 
that will last you just under an hour before needing a recharge. You can recharge the Tynamite using the micro USB port at the bottom of the device or by recharging extra 18650 batteries and swapping them out. It's up to you. In terms of portability, the Tynamite stacks up around the same size as the Crafty Plus. That being said, I'm sure the oak is durable, but it's so nice that I don't want to scratch it. So I would definitely put it in some sort of bag or backpack or keep it inside the pouch inside the bag. That's a way better idea. Do that. The Tiny Mite is pretty straightforward to use. Like I said, they're the two modes. Both of them require you to press the button three times. On the session mode, press and hold on the last time. A quick stir between bowls is really all you need to do to make sure you're getting the best vapor quality. The Tiny Mite is a good vaporizer with its on-demand heating, environmentally friendly parts, and the swappable 18650 batteries. It can definitely pump out some vapor, especially with that water pipe adapter. I would say the battery life is the only thing that really gets me, but you can combat that with the 18650s. But other than that, and that rattling noise that sometimes happens, I really have no complaints about this device. And that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stop, I just wanted to say, please hit the like button. I know, I know, everyone on YouTube asked for this and it's annoying. I know, but just just click it and then you can leave. There's no, just, but just click it first and then go, click it. If you think I missed anything, if you'd like to see a different Vaporizer review, if you're like, dude, that poster is sweet, let's keep it there forever, let me know because it's actually from my house. So if we're gonna keep it here, then I don't know, I'll probably take the super cool poster that we already ordered for the studio and just put it at my house. So it's not a big deal. So let me know. Until next time, my name's Alex for Team Vape TV and for all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping.